This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, Mercy for Those in Purgatory. When a loved one dies, it's easy to instantly presume they are in heaven and are no longer in need of our prayers. But one of the greatest gifts we can offer to those who have gone before us is our prayers. It's true that every person who dies in a state of grace, meaning they do not have unrepented mortal sin, will enter into the glories of heaven eventually. However, what we may often forget is that in order to enter into the full glory of the presence of the Most Holy Trinity, every last sin, no matter how small, must be purged away. This is purgatory, and purgatory is a clear and definitive teaching of our faith. But purgatory itself is so easily misunderstood. It's not a place we go to be punished as a result of God's anger. Rather, it's a state in which we enter our final purification on account of God's love. It's His burning love that has the effect of purifying us of every last attachment we have to sin. Every bad habit, every omission of charity, every foul thought, everything that cannot enter into heaven with us. Purgatory is an act of God's mercy, and we are called to help pour forth that mercy on others through our prayers, sacrifices, and indulgences offered on their behalf after they pass from this earth. Think about your loved ones who have gone before you. Let your love for them compel you to pray for them, especially today. Trust that the prayers, sacrifices, and indulgences you offer for them are the greatest gift of mercy you can give. Let us pray. Lord, I pray for my loved ones who have passed and pray for your divine mercy to flood their soul. Purify every sin away and grant entrance into the glories of your heavenly kingdom. I pray also for all holy souls in most need of your mercy. Jesus, I trust in you.